thank you so much. That's really our time. I apologize. You can't do that to black media. You I can't do that to white media and black media because my wife has to go on at 6 o'clock. Okay. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I it's will. A, it's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. We don't give so much. That's really our. All right, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, call Royal Mla Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai by Shimmy Kakwadash. Them ones are told my elder apostles of the Great Millstone, the men who I learned this truth from. And peace and blessings to the elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And the nerve of this old blood drinking pedal. <laughs> the nerve of this devil, man. You know, but you see, the reason why Esau has that mindset towards you so called Negroes is because they know that deep down inside you just a bunch of slaves. That's all that's that's how they see you. That's all you're gonna be to them. You're just a slave. Or right, you you don't have a ruling class mentality, you rather have a heathen to rule over you. All right. So for that to even come out of his lips, it just goes to show you what they really think about you, so-called Negroes. All right. And um, to, to be quite honest, he actually is right. And the reason why I say he's right is because if you still believe on this damn system, you are black. If you still put your trust in a, 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 a system that was never designed to benefit you, after all these years, all right, this is a system that was set up while you were still enslaved. You still believe in that same system, you're black. You are black, man. Okay? And um, a vote should not have to define who you are. But in their eyes, it do. Because you ain't got no choice. You're just a slave. You're just a Negro. All right? You ain't black if you don't vote for me to rule over you. That's basically what he said. All right? So if you stick, if you agree with that, which you're going to have a lot of simple Negroes, all right, they really put their trust in this system. Those, those niggas, they're black. All right? Now... Just by definition, this guy is actually right, all right? The devil is right. This is from the WebsterDictionary.org, and it says, this is the first definition. It says, uh, destitute of light, all right? Off the rip, <laughs> you're destitute of light. So if you call yourself black, then, hey, you're destitute of light, all right? Your ass is still in the dark, man. You can't see. You can't, you're blinded. To the fact that this devil, all right, is is uh, he's not for your turn. Any any little thing to offer you, Negroes, you're easily sold. And then you buy it, and then you eat it, and then you're still not satisfied. All right, and then usually when they do get in the office, they put your ass on the back burner anyway. Just 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 go back to old, to the Obama administration. All right, they just use your vote, but you don't mean nothing to them, man. This whole entire system is controlled by the higher ups. When you participate in this this uh, uh, system, when you vote, you don't even realize that you're just playing into the circus we call politics. Okay. It doesn't matter which side you, 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 you vote for, both sides are being controlled. They still have the same uh, uh, agenda. They both work for the interests of the elite, the Rothschilds, man. You're just given the illusion by participation. So if you can't see that, you are destitute of light. Okay? It says, or incapable of reflecting it, 
of the color of soot or coal of the darkest of a very dark color, the opposite of white, characterized by such a color as black cloth, black hair, or eyes. Okay? So, yeah, man, that's... And what does the scripture say? In these last days, gross darkness will cover the people, especially Israel. Let's get Isaiah 60. It's Isaiah 60 and 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. All right, and that light is uh, Yahweh Shai. He's, he's the light. And that light for it, it, it shines forth through his men, his elect. All right, we have the light, which is this truth, this knowledge, man. And we're here to, to tell you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives to come out of darkness into this marvelous light. Come up out of this damn system, man. This was never uh, uh, designed for, for, for the betterment of your kind. All right. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. All right. And um, our people that are still in that uh, American black American mindset, you're still in gross darkness, man. Because now the light is being shined to you or your heritage is found in the light. You'll actually know who you are once you come into the light. You're not black. You're not African. You're not a Negro. You're an Israelite, man. And according to our, our law, you know, we're not to put any heathen over us. But see, we've been in captivity, so we don't have any choice right now. You know, we have no control over that. The Lord, you know, put these devils over us. Because because of our punishment, because we went off, we sinned against him. It tells it, it tells us in our in in the uh, curse that we will serve our enemies, all right, for the one of all things. So that's why we you know look for, uh uh uh, uh you know rulers. You know, because we don't have nothing of our own, that was taken from us. Now we're serving our enemies in a land that we did we don't know, for the last five hundred years. Okay, but our people think that this is our rest. No, um, Micah two and ten, rise ye and depart for, rise ye and depart for this is not your rest. All right, for it is greatly polluted; it will destroy you with a sore destruction. All right, all we suffered here, the the the, the whole entire time we've been here, was a uh, uh, rape. All right, a uh, uh, free slave labor, oppression, hostility. You know. Mental abuse, physical abuse. We ain't got shit here, man. And then, you know, the last few uh, 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 decades or so, you know, they give you little bitty opportunities. And then, you know, Jake feel like, oh, well, shit, this is home. All you got to do is give Jake, a, you know, a little crumbs that fall from the master's table. And Jake feel like he's already in the kingdom of heaven, man. He don't want to leave. He don't want to go nowhere. He just want to coexist with, with, with his oppressor. Well, you're still, if you got that same mindset, man, you're in gross darkness, man. And when you look up the word darkness, I think it might be this one or the other one. Let me see. All right, this word is uh, Irapala, if I'm not mistaken. And it says, uh, All right here it says cloud heavy or dark cloud, darkness, gross darkness, thick darkness. And down here in the uh, Hebrew child, the lexicon, it says uh, to this corresponds to Greek, obscure. All right, darkness, especially of the night. All right, and we're not of the night, man, we're of the day, man. The day stars shine within our hearts, man. All right, we know that there is a, a we have a continual city. That we're that we're looking forward to, man. Th this here is only temporary, man. All right, hey, this—I th mean, come on, man. You you don't see what the hell is going on in the world, especially here in Babylon the Great. It's circling the drain, man. CTD. You don't have a lot of uh, life left to it, man. This shit is on his deathbed. 
the petrodollar's on its way out. The nations no longer trust and believe uh, uh, America as the as the uh, the dominant leading uh, country anymore. There's no more middle class here. What the hell you niggas think is finna happen in the next uh, 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 10, 20, 30 years down the line? We don't even have that time here, man. This place is through. You niggas, but you're proving that you want to serve this man's new world order, man. You want to serve his system. So you're going to have no problem taking this man's uh, mark, man, his chip. Because you believe in the system. Those of you that's going to vote come uh, uh, November, you, you're going to take that chip. All right, and you're going to basically uh, uh, show your hand of devotion to the beast. And you're going to be destroyed. The Lord's going to uh, destroy you in the lake of fire, man. All right, now let me, uh, this word, uh, Kadesh, Kadash, and you see right here, it says, the dark, hence literally darkness, figuratively, misery, destruction, death, ignorance, okay? Darkness, obscurity, basically ignorance, man. It says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You're destroyed for your ignorance, you know? The fact that he said what he said, and then, Notice this this clown right here, uh, Charlemagne, which, you know, he's a agenda puppet. You know, he works for them. He's going to definitely push this on his people. But he didn't have he 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 kind of like just 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 browse right through what he said. You know. You ain't black if you don't vote for me, you know, that's how they feel about y'all. But you know what? Hey, I ain't, I'm not black, so you know I'm not finna vote for shit. All right, let me get that law. All right, my 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 king is on, is on the right hand. Well, really, the Most High is my king, but as far as who's gonna rule me on the earth, hey, our king, he's finna be on his way, man. And he's gonna rule the world in righteousness. You devils, you ruled the world in wickedness, man. And it's time for a new rulership, a new management on the earth. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 17. And uh, I'll start at verse 14. It says, When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, which right now we're, we, we're not in our land, we're in the land of uh, our captivity. It says, And shall possess it. Right now we're possession in the land of our enemies, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, a ruler over me, like as all the nations that are round about me, which, you know, back then we had kings over us. Right now you have a president, which that's your modern day king. Trump right now is the modern day king over Babylon. And you still got simple Negroes that's, you know, a Trump 2020. They got their MAGA hats. You got niggas that are locked, getting locked and loaded, you know what I'm saying, for Trump. You know? A nigga wearing a dashiki with a, with a, with a freaking uh, a MAGA hat. Those exist in 2020, man. So we got to get the hell up out of here. Verse 15, it says, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. And you don't even have any say so in that. The electoral, the electoral college chooses your king and the king is going to serve whatever interest that the elite have all right they're only there to to work for the elite all right like it was what, what trump did responding to this whole covid thing it was purposeful he did what the elites had him do all right it says Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. And our people, you know, <laughs> they 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 rather they've been so accustomed to having a heathen rule over them that they don't see no no actual uh, uh, man of their own nation ruling over them. You know, they'll find fault real quick, but when it comes to the devil, you know, vote or die. You know, that's Jake for you. Either way, you know, the Most High is going to, you know, because he rules. And at the end of the day, the Lord rules in the kingdom of, uh, of men. And it just so happened that, you know, Esau has been in power 
all this time because, you know, he was prophesied to be, you know, that, that last ruling force in the earth before our Lord, you know, actually returned back to the, to, to the earth. All right. The, the, the fourth beast. So the Lord raised these devils up. So this is what we have to deal with. This is uh, Daniel 4 and 17. It says this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth to it, it's like it giveth it to whomsoever he will and set up set of up over it the basis of men. And um, you know, for the past four hundred plus almost five hundred years, you know, we've had nothing but base men rule over us. Okay? A bunch of uh, 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 pedophiles, sexual deviants, homosexuals. All right, Joe Biden, he's a straight pedophile, man. Okay? Hey, Donald Trump, he was friends with Epstein. All right, the, these people, uh, they, they, they sacrifice children. They, they perform uh, 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 ritual ceremonies. And these are the men that have power over you. They dictate, all right, uh, 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 your policies, your laws. You see? And that's nothing but oppression, man. That's hell. You know? But hey, this devil, his time is uh, running short anyway. All right? The, 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 the scriptures say the Lord uh, uh, appointed him, you know, boundaries that he can't pass. All right? And this devil, he's, he's finna lose his, uh, his power. And I, and I really hope that Trump do land back in office. I do want him to go another term. All right, because he's been doing a, a, a impeccable job. All right, causing this stir up in the earth. All right, he through his administration, the the the, the beast has been uh, uh, divided. All right, this whole system and the, the European Union, you know, they hate America, man, because of Trump. And Lord willing, he gets he he stays in there and he continue to work on that. Till they finally turn on this whore and 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 want to burn it with fire, man. Also, cause you know, uh, 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 pumping that 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 uh, that dragon like that that dragon like spirit back into these devils, man. Because we seeing that racial tension is also sparking up, you know, with these uh, 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 Edomite white nationalists coming against you, uh, you so called Negroes in the streets. You know, it's gonna be a uh, 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 race wars pretty soon, man. We damn near entering into one. All right. Anyway, this is uh, Joe 14 and 5. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right. So, you know, he, he, he has a, a, a boundary that the Lord set. He has a duration of time to rule. But he can't go past that boundary that the Lord already uh, appointed to him. All right, now is the is the end of uh, of Esau Edom, man. Second Ezra uh, was at six and nine, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, and we're at the end of Esau's rulership. That's why we're seeing everything go down right now. That's why we're seeing, you know, all these uh, uh, eclipses in the, in in the in the moon and in the sun. And that's why we're seeing the uh, the chariot sightings every single day, fleets of chariots every single day, you know. This is why the plagues are hitting, the pestilence is hitting, you know, earthquakes. Because we at the end. And you devils, and, and, and it's like you, and you Jake want to still uh, uh, vote and still believe on this man's system. When all you, all you, all that's happened is you've been oppressed. They still shooting you down in the streets, but you still believe in this system. So anyway, you know, you, hey, let me, let me get that. Let me get uh, Isaiah 30. You know, that's going to be to your own ruin, man. It's Isaiah 30 in verse 12. It says, wherefore it does saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness. And that's all that is, man. You just perverse men. All right. That, that have the rule over you, man. Okay. Straight up uh, 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 pedophiles and homosexuals, man. Fornicators, man. Profane people. It says, and stay thereon, 
Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. So the, basically the Lord is going to break this whole society down. He's going to break this whole system down. Okay, and guess what? You jakes, you're going to be left without uh, without remedy, man. You ain't going to have any anything to fall back on because you put your trust in this this man instead of on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? So you're going to be left to your own uh, ruin, man. But as hey, as for me and in, in, in my house, for we shall we we shall serve the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, you know, I just want to do a, a response lesson to that. You know, hopefully this uh, was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Until next time, Shalom.